Hello, this is Wendy Huber coming to you from Center Strength Pilates in San Jose, California. And today I have a back stretch to share with you, a tractioning stretch that I came up with for myself because I suffer from low back pain and um, have some herniated disc issues from many years of gymnastics. And um, I found with physical therapy what gave me the most relief were the uh, tractioning stretches that they did with me. So I tried to figure out a way that I could do this um, in my Pilates studio and maybe with my clients too to help them with low back pain. Um, I would probably not recommend doing this stretch um, if you're in a period of flare-up. So if your back is in spasm and it really hurts to walk, um, give it a few days to calm down when you're up and moving around normally then um, this would be a good thing to do to get you back into stretching, lengthen out those muscles again, and, um, and something to do for maintenance to keep your back in its most lengthy position, in addition to the foam roller, which I use a lot as well. So I have um, a heavy red spring sprung from the bottom, and one from the top, and then my safety strap. Safety strap is very important. Um, it's key in this to keeping the bar immobile. So um, I've also padded the bar with uh, towels and a sticky mat as well so that um, it's not so uncomfortable on the back of the knees. So we're basically going to hang from our knees on the bar here, the tower bar. So I'm scooting myself as close as I can and I'm going to take my legs over the bar and kind of bridge up a little bit until I get the back of my knees over the bar. And you're basically just going to completely relax and hang out here. Take some nice deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. And as you hang here, you'll start to feel the low back lengthen out. You'll feel your hips lengthen out as well which um, often get tight too in conjunction with low back pain. And then after I've been here for a little bit, I go ahead and also swing my hips a little bit side to side to just kind of loosen up the pelvis and get the low back kind of moving again. to center and try to breathe into it a little more and see if you can draw up a little more down. I'm not sure of the weight limit on the safety strap. That's the only thing you may want to be careful of. I've used this with my average size clients and it's been fine. The safety strap is very strong um, but you want to Keep that in mind if you have a larger person that um, you may want to may want to think twice about doing this particular stretch. But for the the average person, this is fine. And then what I like to do too, in addition, is I put a box back here with a handle on it, or you could even stand and pull your client's hands as well. But this gives me a little bit of extra traction here because I'm pulling from my arms and I'm pulling from my lower half and it just gives you a little bit more of a stretch. And then to come down, just kind of walk your knees back and I just kind of roll down as if I'm in a bridge here. So my tail's the last thing to come down. And then I like to get a little hamstring stretch and straighten the backs of the legs. So that's basically it. What's nice about this too is that versus hanging from a bar to lengthen yourself out, you can lay here and be totally relaxed. So you're not using your arms and um, it's a lot more relaxing and you can stretch for longer. So I hope that uh, gives you some ideas that you can use for yourself or your clients. And 
Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.